I think I just got the coolest package of all time. So for anybody who knows me knows that I'm always on the search for like the perfect camera and I think I found it. So in the last few weeks on Instagram Reels, I started getting served this tiny little camera and what it was producing was super cool to me. I've become pretty obsessed with that little camera and I think it's called the Digital Perizumi? Perinzumi? Perinzumi? I'm not sure. But it's by a company called Superheads out in Tokyo and they make these super little tiny digital cameras that can fit in your pocket and that give like a super lo-fi retro vibe right in a digital file. I thought that was super cool and that might spark some creativity because I have this ongoing need apparently to only be able to create when things are novel and exciting and uh, I'm trying to get a handle on it, but that's not what this video is about. The, this video is about uh, trying to find like this everyday carry, something that's just a little bit different than shooting with an iPhone because I don't know, This the, shooting with an iPhone doesn't really excite me. But after looking on eBay for one of these tiny little cameras, I realized that they were one, super rare, and two, crazy priced for what they are. And that's how I stumbled across this guy. This is the Nakano digital camera, and it's by Superheads. And it's designed in collaboration with somebody named Lisa Larson who is like a ceramist and I believe like a sculptor and stuff. So I, ma I imagine she makes sculptures, ceramics, that type of thing. And I think one of her big things is making cat shapes. So they took her design and they made a cat camera. So I'm gonna try to see uh, if this camera is maybe similar to the one I saw on Instagram. I'm really excited because like, there's no reason to not take this thing everywhere. And that is my goal. So I'm hoping we get some good stuff out of it. So I'm gonna go shoot around with it and see what happens. Okay, so I've had some time to go through the footage from this and that's what you just watched. And I have some thoughts, obviously. Uh, it's pretty cool to not have to really think while shooting because there's no screen, you literally just point and shoot. But because of that, I never really held a frame long enough because I was just kind of like pointing and moving at the same time. So I had a lot, a lot of unusable stuff, uh, which is definitely a big user error. One of the cat's eyes is the lens and sometimes I would forget which one. But besides that, it was the most simple shooting experience. There's only three buttons on this little thing. So basically you toggle between video mode, photo mode, and like a intervalometer. So you could like take time lapses, which is actually kind of sick. And besides that, I think going through the footage and photos, I'm more stoked about the photo aspect of it. So here's some of the photos that I shot during kind of the same time frame. What's interesting about the whole camera is everything is auto setting. So even with photos, if you're moving too fast, the shutter speed isn't fast enough to just capture a, a quick still frame. If you're moving, it'll become like this jello effect, which honestly is sometimes can be cool. The other cool thing about this camera is that it has magnets in its feet and they're actually pretty strong, but I guess this camera is super light. Definitely makes the camera a little bit more interesting. One weird thing I found was, I'm gonna probably regret taking this out. So 16 gigs is the max that you can put in this thing. I think it suggested like eight to 16. And I'm, I had to go buy one because I think the smallest one I had was 64 or something like that. Uh, but it will not shoot unless you have 16 or under. Uh, I think this cost me $3. 
but I could not for the life of me find a 16 gig SD card or smaller. This was the smallest one I could find. Besides that, it was a blast kind of using this thing. Super fun and like lo-fi vibes. It's just nice to have like a straight vibe out of a camera. You know, whatever you shoot is what you get. So overall, yeah, super fun. No regrets for sure for spending the 50 bucks. And I want to read something that was on a, a write-up about that camera because I thought it was hilarious and it kind of sums up everything. Uh, about it. Nikano digital camera does not have any of the high qualities that the latest digital cameras out there would possess. Moreover, we may warn you that we cannot promise you inf infallibility under certain circumstances. Sometimes it may take in too much light and cause a whiteout or blur by the movement of your subject. It is whimsical and does not always capture what you intended to. But just as a cat who may ignore your calls, this whim will make you love it even more and more. Loaded with a vivid color mode and a bitter black and white, both photos and movies have the taste inherited from the digital Heronzumi, who is known to have changed the concept of digital cameras. So I think that kind of sums it up. It's just this little whimsical camera that encourages you to shoot more. There's that like little spark of entertainment that kind of like film that you don't know what you're gonna capture uh, until you get back home, which I thought was cool. So thanks so much for watching. That's it for this video. And if you're interested in the little camera, I'll try to link it below on eBay. And that's it, yeah. Happy shooting, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.